Hey guys, uh, what's up? This is going to be the top 10 uh, TTMs of 2012. Uh, very, very uh, good uh, year I had for TTMs. A lot of great returns coming in. And uh, so I'm going to show off the ones that I that were my 10 favorites, I guess. I'll start off with number 10. This is a, a glove. This was one of my first glove TTMs I sent out uh, to none other than the boss. Dana White, um, I know it's very, he's like one of the easiest guys to get TTM, but, uh, this being one of my first gloves, this was like huge for me, and, uh, you guys know I like the trainers because of this black piece here that looks great with signatures, so that one is number 10, number 9, um, is actually a basketball one, can you guys believe that this one was actually in there, uh, he's one of the very few guys that I really like, uh, in the NBA, and if I actually did want to sit down to watch a game or had to sit down and watch a game, he'd probably be one of the top five guys I would sit there and watch. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki, uh, great guy. I always when I'm in uh, doing in persons, uh, sometimes there's two teams at like the same hotel. Like when I was with the Sharks uh, one year, Dirk and his team were staying there uh, at the same hotel, and he signed for pretty much everybody. But I was just there for the Sharks, and uh, also got this one right here uh, that came out really really nice. So got two uh, signed for Dirk during the year. Uh, so very great to have him uh, to the collection. So that one was number nine. Number eight, uh, we're going to move on to um, one of the best signatures in uh, MMA, uh, legendary. I mean, I don't even have to say anything about this guy. Anyone who knows MMA has heard this name uh, hundreds of times. Hoist Gracie signed glove. Uh, to Roy, nice, just unbelievable signature, I've never seen a bad Hoist Gracie signature, always just looks awesome, so very happy to add that one, uh, so that one came in at number 8, at number 7, uh, this is, uh, another glove, uh, mostly this whole thing is gonna be gloves, because, uh, they were just so huge to my collections this year, um, another legendary guy, uh, former light heavyweight and heavyweight champion of the world. You guys should know who this is. Uh, you've seen him in the Expendables uh, 1 and 2. Uh, the natural Randy Couture signed to Roy up on top. And uh, Randy Couture, nice, always a nice signature by Randy Couture. One of the nicest ones you'll find in MMA as well. Uh, coming in at number 6, um, I guess you can call this a TTM. Uh, because I sent this actually to a signing, and, um, it was this guy, he was kind of hard to get, and, uh, this is actually still in my binder, um, so, like, I didn't feel like taking the photos out and, like, messing up my entire binders where I had them, so if you guys can just bear with me, but here's the guy, none other than King Mo, uh, very happy to get him. Uh, I didn't have anything of his. Don't have a cert or anything yet. But um, just happy that I sent this to the MMA Elite signing. And um, was very happy to get him. And then I'll turn this a little bit ways if you guys can see that. Nice uh, shot right there. Uh, action shot. So very cool uh, to get King Mo. If you guys see, this is how I do my binders. And I got the notes and stuff that uh, the fighters uh, have sent me. And uh, so... He's coming in at number six. So the top five uh, was actually kind of difficult to put together because I did uh, get some great stuff in. Uh, so I'm going to start. This is the uh, number five. Uh, great, great fighter uh, from the Netherlands. Uh, I actually got, uh, got him twice this year. Two uh, photos. And um, one glove. I'll show the two photos off first. Uh, coming from none other uh, than Alistair Overeem. Signed right down there in black. And then we got that one. Both from his fight uh, with Brock. And uh, so yeah, this is, uh, this is actually the last uh, return that actually filled up this binder. If you guys can just see the edge of the binder. That's all signed photos. So uh, there you guys can see all those pages upon pages of uh, stuff in there. Uh, all different fighters in there. But uh, So that's the two photos for Alistair Overeem. And then the glove. Um, basically working with like two or three binders here. Uh, the glove I just got in uh, recently. 
uh, not too long ago. Uh, very, very cool. And uh, this one took a while. It was like six months. I kind of got a little worried, but it did come in. Uh, I actually had to go to the post office and get it because I wasn't home when they uh, sent that. So that one came in at number five. At number four uh, is a favorite of Walker Bo and Michelle. I know you guys are big fans of this guy, obviously. I probably already gave it away who it was. None other than Shale Sonnen. Uh, nice one up here. And then, of course, I had to get the shot of him with Anderson. So I was very, very pumped to pick uh, him up. Uh, had a little help on this one. Not going to mention who to save... Uh, uh, to save his name, so this way he doesn't get flooded with stuff. Uh, so that one was number four, I believe. So we've got the top three of the year next. Uh, this one could easily have been uh, three, and uh, obviously three, easily could have been uh, one or two in my book. But the top two uh, were just too uh, good for me, like I'd were, were two huge ones for me so coming in at number three is we all know Marcel hates this girl but uh, she's awesome uh, none other than Rowdy Ronda Rousey signed right there nice and silver and then I'm going to tilt this again try to get out of the light uh, another one right here with the arm bar on Misha Tate great great fight and uh, looking forward to Ronda making her debut uh, in the UFC, which is going to be awesome. Very cool, not only just for Ronda, but for just women's MMA in general. Uh, it's great to see uh, her, uh, her like being a representative of women's fighting and them getting the recognition they deserve. Um, top two, um, the second one, uh, it, this should have been number one, honestly. Uh, I know some of you guys who might not even like MMA are going to watch this and think, are you serious? He really put this guy ahead of this guy. But the reason why my number one is number one is because I thought it was never going to ever come back again. Um, so, show you this one. Uh, this one is number two. As you can see, I got this all decked out with my stickers that I got from fan packs over the years. Sharks, Red Wings, Canucks, Canadians, Blue Jackets. This is like multi-sports, so this, it's all mixed in. But none other than Peyton Manning. Uh, got this early this year. Uh, signed this one right here. Uh, this is a nice shot right up in here. And I kept these in the binder, like I said, to not... Uh, which you call it to, um, yeah, so I wouldn't mess them up. But uh, those are legit because I compared them to certified stuff and they all match up really, really nice. So that's very, very cool. And I uh, pretty much got everything in this book, all different types of sports. And uh, number one, um, you guys probably already know who it is. Uh, I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this one to come back. And finally, I sent out a tweet to him, and he said he was going to check. And it was like two weeks later. Uh, this uh, popped in uh, during one of the mail days, and I was so pumped to add this. I know uh, he's, he's a champion, and uh, I know Peyton Manning's probably, you could consider him like out of all the T top 10 that should have definitely been number one but I had to put this number one because of the fact that this was a long gone one that I thought it was I gave up pretty much gave up hope after the first like few five months six months or whatever it took a long time uh Dominic Cruz uh the dominator and like I said some people are gonna think I'm nuts uh for putting him uh one but it's just the way it is. Uh, very happy to add this. And this should have been long gone. Uh, but a little tweet helped me out. And that was saved it. So I'm uh, very happy to have this in my collection. Very, very cool. So uh, that's it for 2012. Uh, I could have easily made a top 15, top 20. That's the year I had with uh, returns. Just a great, great year. Uh, so thank you guys uh, for watching this. I know it's another long video. I uh, appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to watch it. Uh, well, so let's move on to 2013. Hopefully all of us can have a great year. And um, thank you guys for another great year on here. I'm very uh, happy to call a lot of you guys great friends. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.